In this video, I'd like to show you how to properly edit and deliver iPhone HDR footage in Premiere Pro. If you've ever experienced extreme overexposure levels when previewing clips in the browser and viewer, you're likely dealing with clips captured with the HDR mode enabled. Since iPhone 12, the cameras have the ability to capture HDR as an HEVC video file. I've got some HDR footage captured with my iPhone 14 Pro Max. In Premiere Pro, import your footage. Drag your footage to the New Sequence icon to create a new sequence with it. This creates a new sequence with the correct frame size, rate, and color space. Go to Sequence Settings or Command-0. In previous versions of Premiere Pro, it would not automatically recognize the color space, and now it does. You can see the Auto Tone Map Media box is checked. This feature recalculates HDR color values so they display consistently in the Rec. 709 color space. It also adjusts wide color gamuts to display accurately in your sequence without blown out highlights. I've got an SDR timeline and I'll add my HDR clips. These display correctly with no additional work or plugins required. I've got a white SDR graphic video file. On the HDR timeline, the white appears dimmer than the 100% white of the original. This is reflected in the scopes. In this case, I'll choose the clip in the project, right-click, choose Modify Interpret Footage. At the bottom, under Color Management, I'll choose Color Space Override and set it to the color space of my timeline, Rec 2100 HLG. Now the white point appears correctly on the timeline, and the white has been bumped up to 1K in the scopes. Next is the same graphic imported directly from After Effects via Dynamic Link. It appears dim as well. We just need to make the color space match in After Effects. In After Effects, go to File, Project Settings, and the Color tab. Make sure your bit depth is set to 32 bits per channel and then set your working color space to match Premiere Pro. Now the graphic has the correct white level in Premiere. While I have the scopes open, you can see that I can color correct my SDR clips in the HDR color space and brighten them up considerably. A side note, to monitor HDR footage properly, you need a monitor that supports HDR. I'm looking at two monitors, my 2021 MacBook Pro which has an XDR display, and an LG monitor, which is SDR. Once it's edited, we can share on YouTube, which supports HDR or SDR playback depending on the viewing hardware. Current consumer hardware includes Apple TV 4K connected to supported TVs, MacBooks featuring XDR displays, monitors with HDR support, and of course, the iPhone you shot your footage on. Export a master file as ProRes 422. There are presets that support HLG. I'll choose ProRes 422 HQ HLG. For a smaller file, for easier uploading to YouTube, search the presets for HEVC Match Source HLG. You can further tweak the encoding settings to taste. But the main thing is that we are outputting the correct color space. The iPhone Pro Max with Dolby Vision HDR puts a lot of power into the hands of consumers and professionals alike. Create with a wide range of video effects at fxfactory.com.